Hi everyone, so welcome once again to our unique channel that's uh, God Gifted Cameras. I'm Trup Ses Savan, founder of True Copy and uh, welcome to our series The Right Angle. Uh, so last week uh, we were analyzing a handwriting sample of an employee which is due for promotion uh, to a leadership role in the organization. And uh, yes, what were the few more traits that we identified and finalized on this candidate? Of course, along with the past performance. Uh, as per graphology, then we came down with a few more traits that are prerequisites as a competence, as a strength to be a good leader. Again, another one we found out was, of course, the person needs to be honest and loyal. How can you find that from a handwriting? It's difficult to trace in an interview, but definitely, it's, as it says, your eye speaks, your tongue talks, but your handwriting reveals everything. So when you talk about particularly the oval shape letters, so that's letter A, letter O, letter B, letter D, letter G, okay? How is it connected to a human body? Uh, those who are already interacting or dealing in the energy areas of life, energy workers, they will understand it even better. But to simplify for everyone, so these letters in a human body represent from the chest level to your abdomen. Okay, that's where all your repressed emotions are stored. That's where a lot of feelings are stored. Feelings like uh, having grudge about someone, you're feeling gloomy, you're feeling excellent during the day, uh, you feel like you know, you're connecting with people well, you're a good presenter, right? You're confident about yourself. So it's known as the instinct center. A lot of times we say, oh, I've got goosebumps or I have got a gut feeling, there are butterflies in my stomach. So these are the oval shaped letters which actually show that. It also represents whether the person will be loyal and honest or not, along with combination of other traits. For now, we'll just take the oval shape letter. So when the letters are very clearly made without completely clean, so the space between oval shape letters is very, very biased. Avoid to make any kind of formation within, which looks like a loop or a hook. So in this particular handwriting sample, all the oval shape letters were quite neat and clean as compared to all the other samples that we had seen from the handwritings, right? It was uh, a complete made loop or rather an oval shape without a loop, without any kind of hook or any other uh, abnormal or rather any kind of unrequired formations, okay? So that showed the writer is honest. Next trait what we identified was at a leadership level, we need someone who has a balance of taking decisions, uh, rather a decision maker who would think practically at the same time on the emotional front, being empathetic also, which we found in this particular handwriting sample. And that's identified by the slant of your letter. Okay, so if you have to really place a horizontal line or scale and you have a protractor, 90 degrees is how your handwriting would look completely in straight line, the way we have shared in the sample as well with you in the video. So this actually represents that the writer and A to B slightly tilted towards the left or uh, towards the right hand side. This is more of an A slant writer though. It shows that the person is very practical when it comes to decision making and the head rules the heart. But since the writer also has a large size and she likes to be with people around. So that's when we considered this candidate to be highly potential when it came to being a leader in the particular organization. Uh, next, last trait I would like to highlight was they were, the, the employer was looking for someone who is excellent in learning, in grasping and very quick thinker, okay, which was very much noticeable by the kind of shapes or rather the angles that were made by letters like N and M. They were very sharp. That also represents aggression. But considering the other traits in combination, this person is quite balanced mentally and emotionally. So yes, the person is a very quick learner. So the M and N letters were made very sharp. The tip, okay, the top and as well as the bottom, it looked like an angle, right? That represents he is a quick thinker. And again, I would like to cover one last trait is uh, they were also looking for a, a candidate who is adaptive to new processes, people, environment, completely adaptive and flexible. Just like a clay, you can mold the way you want 
depending on what the situation is which again we found that this candidate is highly competent as well where the T stroke was made high okay at the same time it was touching the immediate next letter which is the letter H and it is very prominent in a couple of cases in this handwriting sample so that shows the person is very adaptive very flexible will not act too pricey so will be humble down to earth and a good leader so in case if you want to know more about leadership traits do connect with us do subscribe to our channel the right angle series at god gifted cameras thanks a lot and that's it for now thank you